Violet Evergarden is an anime that tells Violet Evergarden's story, duh, a young girl who can easily solve any problem through extreme drama. The only thing she can't solve is Major Gilbert's whereabouts. He's the younger brother of Naval Captain Dietfried, aka, the worst military alive, a grown-ass man who literally abandons important diplomatic missions to bully a 14-year-old foster girl. Get a life bro, I mean, get a wife you f mummy's boy. I've seen some people wondering, does Violet count as a cute girl? My boy, she's animated by Kyoto Animation, even men count as cute girls there. The episode begins with two characters going to a street fair. The man asks Violet to stay a little distance so people don't think they're friends. Apparently, they came here to buy fruit. The place is blurry, it looks like I'm not looking, but glass is less myopia guy. Check out the difference between the trailer and the anime. The blonde stops at a street vendor, and says she wants to buy that green gem to stone it in some adulterer. This anime takes place in a more traditional era. Gilbert looks at her with a pitying look. I guess this isn't a gem, but a shard of glass with water inside. They say if you drink this water, you get high for 72 hours, or you may get diarrhea. Have you ever noticed the shape of Violet's face looks like Rika's from Chunibyo, or Shoko's from A Silent Voice, and Chitanda's from Hyoka, Kyo Ani style. So she wakes up in a bed, because people People usually sleep in beds. She has all her fingers bandaged. You guys know what a girl with injured fingers means, right? Well, I don't, but if you thought about fingering, you should probably watch a little less corn you sick f So she starts to pretend she knows how to write, but she wrote the dollar symbol, here, in a random place. She's writing with an object I don't know, so I'm gonna call this object Benjamin. Soon Benjamin falls from her hand, and Benjamin starts dancing on the floor. It's almost like it's alive. Its dream has always been to be an almost pencil dancer. She picks up Benjamin from the floor and erases everything she had written, since Benjamin also has an eraser function. By the way, have you noticed the eraser slowly dies because of your mistakes? And the paper sheet flies out the window. Damn, look how long this paper keeps flying around. Benjamin dreamed of being an almost pencil dancer, but this paper's dream is to be a helicopter. Check it out, it's a watercraft, that means of transport proved that literally, anything can become a cute girl. Now the anime logo appears, then the anime logo disappears, then the anime logo appears again, and the anime logo disappears one more time. So we see a peasant walking on a peasant road. Then a doll starts to bleed, now she's a grown-up girl. The peasant breaks down the door and finds Violetta doing push-ups. She's not very good at this. But how to do push-ups correctly? I admit I'd never have the creativity to sexualize push-ups like that. I just put this part in the video to earn a few more seconds. In fact, she's just rescuing Ben who had fallen under the bed. I'm calling him Ben because now we are close friends. So they're talking and, holy f this anime is so damn beautiful. It's like watching Captain America's ass. The redhead asks how tall Violet is, and she says she's 161 centimeters. Coincidentally, that's also Violet's blood type, according to her fandom. So the red-haired guy notices the main character's mummy hands, and he says he hates cosplay. What a joke. Violet is so offended by this that she packs and runs away. But he holds her and says it was just a joke. It was just a joke. See you wanna laugh huh? How about you up a denture in your ass and laugh at a cock mother <laughs> Violet is an aggressive girl, I like that. Then the colonel shows her three stuffed animals and asks her if she wants the rabbit, the cat, or the dog. I choose the dog to remember how bitchy your mom is. Now we're in a flashback where Violet is with a man menstruating. She cries, cuz even though he's a man, he menstruated before she did. What the hell is she doing? So they take a boat, damn it, whore it, shit it. This water is absolutely gorgeous. The water looks so good cuz this is the universe where Aquaman won the civil war against Antarctica. We finally arrived at Violet's new home. She was taken by a strange man, to a strange house, with a strange family. Maybe she should call the police, just to be sure. That's the main character's new mom. Here we can see all the happiness she's feeling. What an expressive girl. The old woman offers her tea with a dose of knockout drops to doll play later. But Violet is freezing and ends up dropping the cup of tea. The old woman is worried, but luckily the tea is hot, which warms up her hands. So Violet removes the tape and reveals to have metal hands. Full metal stay night. Then the old woman gives her a pair of gloves and she bites the gloves. The dust. Another one. Those are leather gloves, they're not for eating haha. -ha. Oh really? I'm glad you warned me. I was planning to eat this tablecloth you wear as a dress too, you sl- So when the colonel is on his way out, Violet says she bruised her biceps. Check out how she feels pain in her biceps. I told you she's not good with push-ups. They arrive at the new place where she'll work. They're like telemarketers, but in a world where there's no phone. There's this kid who's playing hide and seek. He has a different number of chromosomes than most people. I really wanted to understand this boy's role. Maybe he's not an employee. He just comes here to be around a lot of pretty girls. Kinda sad though. Violet was about to greet him as a superior military, but soon realizes the boy's inferiority. Colonel even put a notebook on his head to show him even this thing is above him. Something totally understandable, since a notebook can turn into hundreds of helicopters. Now the blonde guy touches the cabinets, cause it's as far as he can touch. Then the main character puts on the work uniform, exactly, she works in pajamas. And there goes Violet eating gloves again. The boy leaves her alone working, and when he comes back he finds out she's reading every single letter. He doesn't give a shit, since he doesn't receive any letters, not even from his mom. Another scene, and we're with a drunk colonel in a Victorian era bus. He looks out the window and sees people working while he was drinking enough to poison an elephant. So he realizes Violet is the one who's working, I didn't know labor laws are that modern. I mean, when did they ban child labor? After that, they go to dinner together with the way too many chromosomes boy. I get it now, he pays them with food, so it doesn't count as child labor. Violet cuts a fish, that's right Violet Chan, fuck all that rules of etiquette bullshit. The food looks beautiful, but I particularly find it extreme to fight for the last shrimp, and I love shrimp, don't get me wrong. Here we see Violet imitating Spider-Man, but not the internet the Stark Industries, the cool one. The other day, Violet is at work cleaning a window. This isn't even part of the job, she specifically likes a lot this glass square.
square. But I know what are you wondering, why isn't Violet wearing a helmet in the fucking warfield? If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe, I'd like to ask you to watch at least two videos of the channel in a row because it helps me a lot, also make a friend watch this video too, use violence if necessary, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, bye.